Okay, so this is meant to be a relatively short video, it's just like a mixture between a rant, a vlog, and maybe a discussion sort of point that people can bring up and argue about in their own time. But I was, slash, have always been a big Dota player, I've got like, what, is that like 1400 games on record, 50% win rate, whatever. Um, I like those heroes in particular, but as you can see, um, on this, like, my last games were two months ago, one month ago, 28 days, 25 days, two hours, and one hour. So I actually haven't played Dota for almost a month before my two games today, well, like, literally just before this, which is what inspired me to make this video. But the first game, I queue up with my friend. He's basically never played Dota before, he's that gaming seal guy from the other Potato Plays Dota 2 video. I put him on Wraith King, because Wraith King doesn't die, he has an ultimate to get back up. He played abysmally, that's to be expected, it's one of his first games, and because he queues with me, the average goes up, and then the opponents get a bit better. But my teammates, in this game, recognised that he was bad. The Pugna, like, through the entire laning stage was like, Yo dude, you, you knew? You, you seem really bad, no offence. And he was saying stuff like that, to like, scope out whether or not the Wraith King was beyond help or not. Or maybe to scope him out to see whether he wanted to flame him, or get in an argument with him, or try and help him out. Because if, if someone acknowledges they're new and they say, yeah, you know what, I'm awful, help me, you can say stuff to them to help them. But if he if he's there and he's 0 11 and 2 and he says, actually no, I'm really good, Pugna can say, actually no, you're really fucking bad, and then an argument can happen. But the three people in this game seem to be okay with the fact that he was pretty much clueless and frankly not helpful in any way at all. And we won, because they didn't seem to get in an argument with him, with each other, with me. Because us two, we, we're not that argumentative, we'll, we'll joke, we'll all chat, we'll be like, oh man, report the Wraith King, he sucks, as a joke. But we're not actively trying to fuck up everybody's day because of anything. And we won this game, and you can see on the XP earned thing, we were actually starting to lose the game, we had a little bit of a comeback, and then we really started to lose the game, and then we just started winning, because nothing snowballed out of control that was negative and our team fell out or anything. But the second game, did <laughs> Jesus, the second game. So I went 3-5, and five, which is like, not good at all. I didn't have good farming, I didn't have good items, I didn't really have anything, but I was by far the only guy on the team that actually did anything, followed by the guy I queued with, Omni Knight, because Wraith King didn't work out, the ultimate resurrecting him didn't really help, it just kind of, he would die, and then obviously he gets back up, but he's still in a bad position and he just dies anyway, it just sort of prolonged the inevitable. So you put him on Omni Knight, you can heal, he can BKB people sort of, and his ultimate protects you from getting hit. And we thought that'd work out, and it wasn't that bad of a synergy in the lane. We lost the lane, but we didn't lose it really hard. But then these three were a three stack. They spoke pretty much minimal English, which is okay, but when the only English you have is used to attack, flame, troll, whine, bitch, cry in all chat, and do nothing but, like, like they were, they were on the microphones screaming at us as well, but half the time they weren't screaming in English, it's not even like it was intended to help us in any way at all. I ended up muting them after like, what, four minutes of being exposed to their bullshit, but that kind of stuff not only ruins my day, but it ruins my next couple of days, and then it ruins my wish to play Dota for like a week, because I'm like, fuck you, and I'll end up with these idiots again. Like, the Drow Ranger and the Windrunner went top as two, and they just didn't really do anything, and I don't mind people being bad if they acknowledge that they're bad, and they say, yeah, we're new, yeah, we're bad, yeah, we're misperforming this game, but we're usually good, just give us a chance and we'll sort it out. But instead, they palmed all the blame off onto everybody else, and because they're a three stack, like three friends that queue together, the only people they can get pissed off at is us two as a two stack, and my friend and me, and tell us to kill ourselves, and tell us that we're fucking trash at the game, and tell us that we've ruined their experience for the night, and it's like, you three queue up with a combined score of 0, 15 and 0 as a 3 stack. None of them really achieved any items, none of them achieved anything, 
the Shadow Friend went mid against Templar Assassin, and he was 0-5 at like 10 minutes, because you got to remember, this is the KDA for the whole game. He went 0-5 in 10 minutes, then sat in the fountain for like the rest of the game. The Windrunner was the same story, and the Drow didn't even sit in the fountain, she just abandoned. She just said, fuck this, I'm leaving, and then the other two left with her. But that's 20 minutes of my life spent being shouted at, being verbally assaulted, and losing a game which we frankly didn't need to lose. Sure, you're behind, but you look at these advantages, and that sort of like, way below minus 5k here, or way above minus 5k, this was the same sort of disadvantage we had in that other game that then shot back up, but this one just got worse and worse and worse. Because nobody wanted to work together, no one wanted to fight together, no one wanted to sort each other out, no one wanted to improve their play, they just wanted to sulk, whine, bitch, and point fingers at each other as if it was each other's fault. And that's just fucking awful. But if we switch to this other site, you can actually see a word cloud of... Because th this site downloads all your replays. But like you, you look at that word cloud and it's not particularly pleasant. It's like stuff like Rip and Lameo and GG, they're, they're all fine, but Ugh, it's it's not the stuff that you poop. <laughs> it's not the stuff you want to be saying and it's not particularly positive, it's not gonna help the game progress. Like, I'm, what, 3500 MMR or so, 3400, 3360, whatever you prefer calling it. But I've climbed that far from 2400, pretty much purely from the fact that I try and defuse arguments, and I try not to piss anybody off. Like, I'm not even a good player at all. Nowhere near it. You can watch the Dota 2 gameplay videos, and you will watch them, and you'll see all the mistakes that I make, but it doesn't matter, because... The biggest thing that wins games is the fact that five people are playing together and your opposing team might fall out and then they only have three and a half people left that actually give a shit. But in the context of Heroes of the Storm, I actually think I enjoy that game way more than Dota. Like, I haven't played Dota in almost a month and then I have today and I haven't enjoyed it at all. The first game was great and then the second game absolutely ruined, like, to a proportion that made me not want to play Dota now for another week. And at one point you'll just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm done with that game actually. Which is pretty bad, because I actually really enjoy the game of Dota. I really like the items, I really like the skills, I really like the heroes, I love Silencer, I really like Windrunner. Like, I <laughs> I liked her before she became really overpowered, and then when she became quite powerful I actually liked her a bit less. Maybe it was because people kept shouting at me for like picking a metagame hero, it's like, oh fucking Windrunner picker, it's like, yeah, I've been picking it before it was OP, don't need to flame me about it. But here is the storm, I noticed myself getting less salty, and I also noticed my teammates getting less salty, and I think there's various reasons for that. I think the primary reason I don't get as salty or as argumentative in HOTS is because I'm the noob, I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't even know what half the heroes are called, I don't know what 90% of the heroes do, and I have, I genuinely don't even know what some of the maps do. And because I have such a deficit of knowledge, and because I have no idea what I'm doing, I am in no position to call other people out on what they're doing wrong, not only because it'd be a double standard, but also because I genuinely don't know what they're doing wrong yet. Like, I can identify a weak player. In my recent video playing as uh, Raynor, I identified that uh, the Zagana, the bug lady on the top lane, was a weak player. I identified that she was bad because of her positioning, because I, I managed to kill her or whatever. But I didn't like flame her, and if she was on my team, I wouldn't have flamed her because I'm just as bad at times. But because I'm so bad at the game, I think that makes me less likely to see errors and get mad about errors and argue about errors. Because in the Dota 2 game, Shadow Fiend goes mid, he goes 0 5 to TA, TA gets a 10 minute desolator, and as HOTS players, you have no, no idea what any of that means. You don't know whether that's good, you don't know whether that's bad. And that's me to HOTS. But me as a Dota player, and the Dota players that might be watching this, you know that's awful, that shouldn't happen. Like, SF isn't great against TA, but he shouldn't go 0-5 and then sit AFK in the fountain and do nothing. And then that gets you, especially when the Shadow Fiend is the one flaming you as if it's your fault. He did that in his lane. Like, a Phantom Assassin in the safe lane can't fix a Shadow Fiend going 0-5 in 10 minutes in the mid lane. That's, 
Like, what am I gonna do? Walk all the way over there and then sit in the lane with him and take his experience? Like, <laughs> it's just pointless. And then it's pointless arguing with them, but you bite the bait. Because someone says, it's your fault this happened, and someone's pointing that at you, and you have to deflect that either onto someone else or back at them. But then that's an argument, and then that makes it worse, and then everything snowballs downwards. The second reason I find HOTS a lot less salt inducing is because there's always something happening. There's always an objective to go for. There's always um, a big f team fight that's about to happen that you need to run for. There's always a sippy cup that you need to go lick. <laughs> like it's some sort of fucking salt lock and you're some giraffe. Um, but because you're always busy and because you're always doing something, there's no time to like sit back and reflect on something that's already happened and say, you know what, that was bad by you, you did wrong. Whereas in Dota, you ha you can have like a solid five to ten minutes where genuinely nothing happens. Not that that's bad, that's like a strategy part of the game where it's slow paced, there's a lot of planning ahead, a lot of really realising what's gone on already. But because you have these like large amounts of downtime where you just alternate between a lane and a jungle farm, split push, push a tower, because you're not doing too much during that time, you're not like actively taking team fights or taking objectives. Because of that amount of time, there's more time for you to like look at each other's play, like criticize it, get argumentative. And the third thing that makes Heroes of the Storm less salty or argumentative for me is that the chat genuinely just doesn't exist. There isn't an all chat and there isn't voice communication. So people are less likely to get pissy with each other from both of those things. Because if the enemy team, like I have done this to enemy teams in Dota to climb in rank where Somebody dies, they die again on the enemy team, and then you all chat. Good job dying twice top, and then the enemy team sees that, and then they're like, Ah, oh, my teammate died twice top. He's letting the team down. I'm gonna lose my rank or whatever. I don't play ranked in Heroes of Storm, that's probably another huge thing, but even in unranked shit like that happens, you all chat the enemy team, you flame someone, and then everyone on that team flames that someone, because again, they don't want losing to be their fault, they don't want to accept responsibility for it. They want to deflect on someone else. And then the fourth reason the HOTS doesn't have as bad an effect on me yet, it might at some point, I, god I hope it doesn't, but I genuinely think the Heroes of the Storm community is nicer. I've posted stuff to both subreddits, I've been in both communities, not for very long for the HOTS thing, but I probably posted more stuff there. But just the difference in the reactions and the responses you get. Like in the Dota 2, I posted one video where I played with uh, some Croatian friends of mine. And I had three private messages. One of them was saying like, ah, oh, who wants to be friends with Croatians? They should just all die. And then the second one was like, ah, oh, you're a filthy dirty tiny picker, you should go fucking jump off a cliff. And then the third one was like, ah, oh, stop shilling your YouTube channel, you fucking cunt, go die. And it's like, Jesus. Whereas the Heroes of the Storm subreddit, I've never even had a negative comment at all. Not not privately, not publicly. I had one weird one where someone said like, ah, oh, you're not a Dota player, like, they didn't believe it. It's like, well, yeah, I am. <laughs> That's not a negative comment, it's just somebody being stupid, that happens quite a bit. But then there's the overwhelming positivity from the Who's a Storm community, where people have privately messaged me stuff like, Oh, good on you for making content, we don't have much of that for our community, please keep at it. There's leaps and bounds between the community and inside the game it's hard to notice it for me because I'm too busy doing stuff, I'm too busy thinking about my next skill to pick or reading the skills or working my way to the objective or figuring out whether or not I should hearthstone or thinking about whether I'm out of position or not because bad at the game to be honest. In honesty I'm going to round this out by saying don't be that guy. Don't be the guy that argues everyone. Don't be the guy that can't accept responsibility. Don't be somebody that if someone flames you, you flame them back. I've done that. It doesn't help. It doesn't improve. It feels good to do. And that's probably not good and says a concerning amount about myself. But man, it fucks you off when they're wrong and they think they're right and they fucking point fingers at you. God, it does, doesn't it? Even here is the Storm people that play like rank to get into arguments with you, you'll know that. You'll be like, oh yeah, he, I know what he's talking about, but just don't, don't, don't bite it. Don't bite the bait, just don't fucking do it. Just stay positive, it's how you'll win games. It doesn't 
if, if they're out there and they're being whatever and they're being full potato, let them. Because if you go out there with them, now it's 3v5 for your team and it's even less fair on them. 